We think this is absolutely a landmark study, and there, there are really probably two principal reasons. The first is that we now understand that whereas we have been up until now thinking about breast cancer as probably four different diseases, in fact, we now know that it's probably 10 different diseases. And because it's 10 different diseases, each of those subcategories almost certainly will require different treatments. And one of the things that we've struggled with, despite all the progress we've made in breast cancer, one of the things we've struggled with is understanding why in a group that we expected to respond in a particular way to a treatment, some do and some don't. And what this new map gives us is a way of understanding that, is a way of saying, OK, now we know that actually there are 10 groups and we can start to tailor the treatments much more precisely to those different 10 groups. So that's the first major implication. The second major implication is that we now have identified a number of genes that are responsible for driving breast cancers in some women that we didn't previously know about. And so these represent opportunities for us to develop new treatments as well as new diagnostic tests. I think that we have uh, you know, the piece in between that is missing. We have now this uh, study that clearly gives us new information and what we need to do next is to show in the context of clinical studies that this is indeed the case and that it can affect management and you can only provide that evidence in the context of very well designed studies, very well supervised studies where you get the information and then you say this is indeed better than what we do currently and eventually the whole of the NHS will be offering tests that would classify the women into these different subtypes. So we need now to do the next step can patients in the NHS have access to those studies? Yes, they can. They can come to, for example, experimental cancer medicine centers and they can participate in clinical trials where they will be enrolled in studies where this information is being used.